Hello, I am Jennifer Ruddick Zunikoff, here with you for story time at J Kids Radio. I will share an original tale. It is titled Estes Horum Parade. Mommy, mommy, I can't wait until Purim. I get to walk on the FEMA with the big kids this year. Esty was telling this to her mother on her way home from preschool. Esty was three and a half years old, and the big kids were the four and five year olds with whom she attended preschool. In one week, they would all be in the synagogue sanctuary and on the bima, marching in the Purim parade. Esty's mother helped her design a costume. Esty was going to be Esther, the brave Jewish queen who saved her people. Esty had a sparkling gown, a silver crown, and shoes that click clack when she walked. Esty, every day after school, asked, Mommy, may I put on my Purim costume just for a little while? Esty put on her sparkling gown, her silver crown, and her shoes that click clacked. And she stood before the mirror, smiling at herself and talking and talking. When I'm on the Bima, dressed as Queen Esther, I'm going to hold your hand, Mommy, and Daddy will hold Benny's hand and we'll all walk together. Benny was Esty's two-year-old brother. He was going to wear a blue bathrobe and a little crown with pretend jewels so he could be a king. And, Mommy, I'm going to be there with Rahi, who's going to be wearing her Queen Esther dress, and we're going to wave and smile at everyone. Rahi had been Esty's very best friend since the girls were babies. And, Mommy, Everyone's going to look at me. I'm going to be so brave, like Queen Esther. This is how it went every day after preschool. Esty putting on her costume and smiling at herself, talking about walking with her family in the parade and with Rahi, and sharing that she would be brave Queen Esther. Two days before the Purim parade, a note came home from preschool. It was written by the rabbi. Mommy read the note and it said, Dear parents, we are very excited for our Purim parade. First, we will have the youngest members of our community go onto the Bima for their parade. Children ages two and younger, of course their grown-ups may join them. And as for our big kids, the three, four and five-year-olds, they will walk in the, in the parade together as their parents way from the congregation. We have so many children in this age group that we kindly ask the parents to remain seated in the sanctuary. We look forward to Purim. Esty's mommy explained to Esty, sweetheart, daddy and I won't be able to walk with you in the Purim parade, but you will be able to walk with all your friends. No, mommy, that's not how I practiced. I want to walk with you. You don't have to decide right now. You can either sit with us or you can be in the parade. Esty didn't know what to do. She needed to be in the parade, but she wanted to walk with mommy. The big day arrived. And Esty and Benny and Mommy and Daddy were sitting in the congregation. They were all dressed up. Esty saw Rahi sitting with her daddy on the other side of the room. And Esty watched as Benny and Daddy walked to the Bima. It's not fair. Benny gets to walk with Daddy. But Esty, you are such a big girl. You can walk with your friends on the Bima. I wanted to be with you. Daddy and Benny waved from the Bima 
but only Mommy waved back. Esty was too sad to wave. When, when Benny and Daddy came back and they were all smiles, hmm, is all that Esty could say. It's not fair. And then the rabbi called for the big kids to come into the bima. But Esty climbed into Mommy's lap. Esty, don't you want to go into the bima with your friends? They're all going now. I want to stay with you. But Esty, Daddy said, just think you can be brave Esther up there. I'm too scared. Mommy looked at Esty. I understand. It is scary to go to the bima by yourself. But sometimes when we're scared, we can take a deep breath and try to be brave anyway. Ooh, look over there, Esty. Your friend Rahi looks like she could use some company. And Esty looked at the bima, and there was Rahi. She was standing like this. She looked really nervous. Esty looked at Mommy, and she looked at Rahi. Esty closed her eyes and took a breath. She thought of Queen Esther. The queen was so scared to go to the king, but brave Queen Esther went to the king anyway. Esty jumped off her mommy's lap. I'm going to be in the parade. And she ran toward the bima. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. She walked up the steps and through all the children gathered until she was standing next to Rocky, her best friend. <gasps> Rocky was so happy and Esty smiled back at her. The parade began. The girls walked with all the other children on the bima and all around the sanctuary. I'm Esty and I'm brave, Esty said. I'm Rocky and I'm brave too. Esty picked up Rocky's hand and she said, we're Queen Esther and we're brave. And the girls giggled. Mommy and Daddy and Benny waved and Rahi and Esty waved back. They walked through the sanctuary and again and again, they said these words. We're Queen Esther and we're so brave. And they were.